Welcome to chapter 12. So in this chapter, I'm going to talk about um, mods that you can do to these, uh, to the programs that come with Annex T 1.0. And hopefully you can take inspiration from this uh, so that if you, you, you end up buying this and installing it on your PC3 or your PC3 LE or your PC3 K, uh, that you'll take the things that you see in this video and, and, and try some of your experiments yourself. Um, the whole idea of this is to open up VAST for people who aren't, you know, too sure about how to program or who just want to mess around with sounds real quickly uh, with the sliders. And so with these modifications, uh, you, can, you can go a little bit deeper into being able to control the sounds and, and so forth. So first of all, let me uh, talk about a mod that I've done here to Plink. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the ALG page. So if you remember, Plink has uh, two layers that essentially do all the DSP. Um, so for the mod that I've added to here, uh, to, to Plink, uh, the, main, the main mod is, um, is this uh, that's done to the wrap block. So what I've done here is source 2 is now attack velocity. Depth control is fun one and it has a depth of 18 dB. So let's go ahead and look at fun one. So all fun one is, uh, is, is sort of like, it's, it essentially checks to see where the mod wheel is. And if the mod wheel is down near the bottom of its travel, which means that you're playing with the piano envelope, then it's going to apply this mod. So this mod will not affect uh, sounds with the synth envelope. So for instance, let me play this sound with the synth envelope. and I'm varying the velocity and you don't hear any change uh, to, to the sound. So uh, this is with the uh, mod wheel all the way down. So what I've done is as you increase that gain um, with the attack velocity, you increase the effect that rap is having on the sound. And so it's not just a volume change you're hearing, but you're also hearing a tonal change. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Uh, let's look at 8-bit real quick. So uh, the mod that I've done for 8-bit, uh, for, for this particular, uh, for, for our particular purposes here, is to change, again, uh, how wrap is affected by attack velocity. In this case, I just have attack velocity running directly to wrap. So, so you can hear that as I hit a key. Let me do it again. Let me turn up the volume just a tad so you can hear that uh, perhaps better. So I'm going to hit C4. So you can add some tonal variation to each key strike, and depending on how you set uh, your 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 DC gain and and how you set wrap and everything else, you can have subtle tonal variations, or you can have very stark differences between um, soft key presses and hard key presses, or, or slow attack velocities and fast attack velocities. Okay, so let's move on to form now. I mentioned in the form video that slider G is very expressive. So what I've done here, first of all, let me just play this mod. Let's move slider G up a bit, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the mod wheel all the way up. So now I have, let's see, let's put this on monophonic. Let's take off portamento. So if I hit a key softly, I get a mellow sound. If I hit it hard, I get a more cutting sound. If I hit it soft and I press, then I can control uh, the tone of the sound over time. So this is implemented uh, using some functions on layer 3. So first of all we have this low pass fun that takes uh, 
mono pressure and it low passes it with a value of 0 0.03, which means it's going to adjust fairly relatively slowly to the changes in uh, pressure values. This makes it easier to control the aftertouch. We're going to add in some attack velocity and then fun one plus fun two. And then if we go to the DSP mod page to the gain here, you'll see that fun three uh, can affect this up to 24 dB and the depth is controlled with the mod wheel. So pushing really hard on the key with the mod wheel about halfway up. Let me put it all the way up. Now see that might be a little too far to be realistic. So you might assign this to the mod wheel so that for each different kind of horn or whatever it is that you've, you've created with form you can you can adjust the depth of the effect. Okay so let's go on to bad. So, so bad the mod is very simple. Put this in monophonic mode with just a tad of ornament. Basically, I've assigned pressure to uh, control the cutoff frequency. So let's go up to our um, layer three where we have our filter. Go to the DSP mod page. And frequency you see is being controlled by fun one with a depth of 2400 cents. And fun one is just 0 0.03 in M press. So now you also have filter cutoff on the mod wheel, but this allows you to, to add some expression as you play the keys themselves instead of having to always use the mod wheel. Okay, so let's take a look at Blow. Blow, I did something a little bit different. Um, first thing I did was I took off the picture effect. So I want you to be able to hear what this sounds like without any uh, picture applied. And you can also play it monophonically like a normal sound. And second, on the SW button, I now have distortion. And so to change these things, all I did was here in the insert effect I turned I changed this to what I have a, a, a distortion preset called herbal distortion and then um, that uh, adds that extra sort of aggressive factor to the sound okay so so in this case I didn't modify any of the DSP necessarily I modified the effects okay so fam The main thing I modified here, uh, if you go to the DSP mod page, is the ranges. Okay, so so the the, the controls affect um, saw pitch and sine pitch and uh, pitch course for the um, let's look at the alg for saw plus shaper block. So so sine and saw and saw plus shaper. It's still the same uh, wiring, but I've changed the ranges so that before with FAM you get very low pitch sounds. Um, so if you modify the ranges, in this case, I've modified this from minus 72 steps up to minus 60 steps. Now I've taken this from minus 48 steps to minus 12 steps. So now I have, um, I can cover a sort of a different uh, family of sounds that are uh, higher in pitch generally speaking. Okay, so moving on, we have what? And just when you thought what couldn't get any stranger, it did. So let me show you what I did to make it stranger. So the main thing I did was here on layer one, instead of having the shape saw oscillator, I now have saw and shaper. So I can control the pitches of the saw wave, but I can also control the shape with shaper. So it's it's kind of like shape saw, but it's it's a different way to shape a sawtooth wave. And you get um, all sorts of more crazy sounds out of what. Uh, with Ole Miss, what I've done. 
Okay, let me let me play that note again and, and explain what's going on here. I'm going to play the note and I'm not going to press on it. I'm just going to play C4. So kind of a nice string sound. Now I'm going to press on C4. So you hear how the harmonic is coming out? Let's do it again. An octave above the fundamental. This I found uh, by trial and error. If you go to the DSP mod page to uh, layers 2 and layer 4 and X fade, I have fun one, which is implementing our low pass and M press uh, arrangement, assigned to change the X fade amount by 5%. So that's what you're hearing. You're just hearing a different X fade amount being applied as I apply more pressure. But because of the way rap works, that also changes the pitch. So in this case, I'm going from a fundamental sound to sort of like the first harmonic. Or the first harmonic above the fundamental, I should say. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Padman. So Padman, um, let me play a couple of notes here. So this particular version of Padman has um, some modifications done to slots 2 and 3, or 3 and 4. So let's go ahead and look at the DSP mod, or uh, ALK page, sorry. So on 3 I have Sign plus Shaper, this is instead of Wrap. And on 4 I have Saw plus Shape and Saw plus Shape. So I have basically two FM operators in series instead of PW mod. And so this will give me uh, different kinds of sh sound shaping potential out of, uh, oper out of, out of um, slots three and four. And you can do the same thing. You can, you can pick any two blocks you want. You could, uh, with a little bit of modification, make a much more complex algorithm, um, you know, add in some stuff before or whatever. Okay, so here's a mod I've made to Simpler. <laughs> So this particular mod, again, is a pretty simple one. What I've done is, instead of having the uh, AM going on with the sine plus and then an X gain block, I have saw plus and shaper. So that's our, you know, traditional FM algorithm, but you have a bit of control over these things. So, for instance, shaper here, shape amount can go from 1 with the slider all the way down to minus, to basically point, um, Point 0.9 and you can adjust the pitch of the saw plus wave or yeah this there we go so this allows you to use all the fun things that are available with simpler uh, with with a different kind of DSP at the very beginning in this case uh, FM instead of AM. Okay, so that does it for the mods that I prepared. Um, have lots of fun with this. Feel free to uh, leave comments here on this video or, or send uh, me an email if you happen to purchase the package and let me know what you think about these, these sounds and, and, and ideas for uh, things that you'd like to see us do in the future here at Poser's Kitchen. Thank you very much for watching this video and for watching this series and enjoy.